I downloaded a logo off of Google Images and I imported it into Bobcat. I'm going to right click and choose Vectorize. And this is where you've got to play with the threshold value, deciding what level of black and white you want to have Bobcat recognize and vectorize, which you'll then, then turn into your toolpath. I found on this image the right balance was around 160, but you certainly you could give a experiment. I'll then blank out the original picture, and you're left with your uh, blue toolpath, which is vectorized. I want to get rid of the financial group text, as that's too small and it's not relevant for what I'm looking for. I'll then want to re-enlarge the remaining part of the logo to match the uh, image on the left. So I will use the translate and I will first realign clicking enter, or excuse me, clicking OK or hitting enter to move the text on the X and Y axis. I will then switch to scale and increase the size. When I do so, you'll notice that it also moves on, moves on the X, Y, so I will readjust it back. And once I've got the text, the size I want and the location I want, I'll be done moving and translating it, and I'll be ready to move on to create the toolpath. I'll be using the profile function as I'm going to simply want to outline the text using an engraving bit. So I'll choose that function, select the uh, text, right click OK. I'll then edit the profile to choose my first my no offset because I'm going to follow the text. I'm going to set the depth to just quite a shallow depth of uh, 50 thousandths under two passes, no uh, side allowance. I only need a quarter inch lead on this and the roughing will be uh, my bit which is a two thousandth inch bit on uh, two thousand spindle speed, five on the cutting feed rate and three on the vertical spindle feed rate. Compute my toolpath and you'll see I like changing my color to have it stand out. And you can see just that quickly I've gone from a logo to a toolpath which I can then export into Mach 3 and mill. Here you can see Mach 3, I've zoomed in on the preview or sort of the live view of where the X, Y, and Z axis are moving and it's showing me what my tool is cutting.
Here you can see the G code that Bobcat has created that Mach 3 is reading to move my axes in the servo motors. In order to show the degree of precision and the relative size of the part I'm working on, I've added a nickel 